we all love. And so today as we remember, as we commemorate, as we gather together, let's share love. Let's pray. God, we give you thanks for all of the people that we remember this day, for all of the people that have gathered here. And we just ask your blessing upon all we do. Let us never forget. Let us always be in your presence. And Lord, today, let all those who wear the blue uniform go home safe at the end of their shift, knowing they did the best they could. I pray this in your holy name. Amen. Thank you. I'd just like to uh, take a shirt up. Um, Attorney General Matt Plackin. Um, again, Colonel Callahan could not be here. Uh, First Assistant uh, Lindsay Rotullo, who's in the back over there. Um, U.S. Marshal Juan Matos, Ocean County uh, Prosecutor Bradley Bilheimer, Monmouth County Prosecutor Raymond Santiago, Cape May County Prosecutor Jeff Sutherland, uh, Superintendent of the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey, Ed Setnar, Mayor Vaz, Seaside Heights Mayor. I also want to thank Wayne Blanchard of the uh, State Troopers Fraternal Association. I know Wayne's in the back, there he is, for helping us out uh, with the parking. And uh, thank you, Wayne, for doing that. Um, right now, I'd like to turn things over to Lieutenant Colonel uh, Jeannie Hengemule. Thank you. It's an honor for me to be here today. Like Mike said, Colonel Callahan uh, could not be here today. We all know what this event means for Colonel Callahan. So he sends his uh, apologies for that. And I apologize that you get stuck with me instead of him. But uh, first, you have to thank the Storino family, not just for today, but for things they do every single day. They open up their hearts, they open up their arms, they open up their businesses to make a day a little bit better for people. And that's incredible. That is absolutely incredible. And they deserve a lot of credit for everything that they do. And Lou talked about it a little bit, but I do have to recognize uh, Mike and Cheryl. They probably put their families on hold putting this event together. And like I said, walking over here, it's like herding kittens. It really is. Look at everybody up here. Can you imagine trying to get all these people in one place? It's like herding kittens. So we have to thank them for all the work that they continue to do in their 16 years of doing this. The last person I'd like to mention is Monsignor Lowry. Monsignor Lowry means a lot to a lot of us. And we carry him around every single day in our hearts. And when I was driving up here today, I know he whispered something in my ear and it was basically like, keep it short, keep it simple, because it's about the families, it's about the kids, it's about to let them pick it up today, have some fun. So Monsignor Lowry, thank you for letting the weather hold off. You let all the rain happen over the weekend. It's a nice, cool breeze. The last part of today is it's about you. It's about the families. It's about the survivors. It's about coming together today and having fun. And if we had a class uh, S uniform, a swimsuit uniform for the state police, if I didn't have to be somewhere in an hour, I'd be out there with you all kicking it up. So thank you all for coming. Thank everybody for up here. The one thing that you need to remember, and we will continually tell you, you will always be a part of a law enforcement family. It's our job to make sure that happens. And your loved ones will never be forgotten. We promise you that. So thank you. Thank you. I'd like to call uh, Prosecutor Bilheimer up. Good morning, everyone. I think my job is to really welcome you here at Ocean County and one of the jewels of the Jersey Shore. Uh, I want to thank you all for being here. Uh, I want to thank you for the sacrifice that you've made and I want you to enjoy today and I want you to really just have fun in this water park and, and take the day uh, to enjoy all the slides. Uh, I wasn't here last year. Uh, it's my favorite event every year in law enforcement. We have to go to a lot of events. Uh, some of them we really enjoy and this is one of them. Chief Floyd, everybody. Can I get a big round of applause for Chief Floyd? Let's get him in. He's always fashionably late, makes an entrance. Um, last year my daughter was uh, going away to college, our first daughter, and uh, I couldn't be here and I really missed being here with all of you. Um, 
as I walk through the park, I think of having all her birthday parties here, which we did for a number of years. So it's a special place for me and my family. I hope it's a special place for you, and I hope that you really enjoy today. I'd like to just say a little bit about Monsignor Lowry, who was uh, a dear friend of mine, a dear friend of all of yours. Monsignor Lowry uh, baptized my wife. I can't say how many years ago because she'll get mad, but it was a, a while ago, and uh, I had the honor of having him come speak uh, when I got sworn in as county prosecutor five years ago. Um, he was a tremendous mentor to me and to all of us, so I want to thank Mike Parmenter for carrying on this event in his name, uh, and it means a lot. And I want to thank the Storino family for hosting this every year. The Storino family, uh, just like everybody else, took a hit in 2012 with Superstorm Sandy, and they kept building it back and building it back, and it's as beautiful as it ever was. So uh, on behalf of the Ocean County Prosecutor's Office, I want to thank the Storino family. And Mayor Vaz, who's standing behind me, nobody can see him. There he is. Thank you very much. I'd like to have Attorney General back in, please. Try that again. Uh, thank you so much for hosting this. This is such a great event. I want to thank the Serenos, Mayor, Chief. Thank you for having me back to Seaside after my uh, awful performance on the boardwalk a few weeks ago. If anybody saw that, please don't comment. Yeah, the prosecutor made the frog. He wants everybody to know he made the frog game in his second try. He's a show off. Um, but it's great to be back here. This is just truly one of the most iconic parts of our state. I love coming here, and I love coming. To this event. Um, you know, I have the great privilege of being the chief law enforcement officer, but I'm just a temporary steward. Uh, AGs have been, there have been other AGs who have been here for events, and when I'm gone, there'll be other AGs to follow me. But what's been consistent in this state, and that I've seen so closely and personally in my tenure, is just how much of a family the law enforcement community is. And the folks that you love, the women and men who paid that ultimate sacrifice to keep us safe, to keep my family safe and the, my neighbors and friends and people that they've never met, I want you to know that we never forget them. And that every person who stands in my shoes takes this as our most sacred obligation. And so this day is about celebrating you all, giving you a chance to have some fun, probably the most fun place in the state, but also about remembering the great sacrifice and honoring those who so deserve to be honored. I want to thank the Garden State Cops. I want to thank uh, Michelle Carroll and the survivors of the Triangle who just do amazing work lifting up you all every year, and the Serenos and everybody else who puts on this great event. God bless you all. Thank you for having me, and please know we'll always stand with you. I'd like to call on Mary DiNardo now, who's going to offer some comments for the survivors. Good morning. My name is Mary DiNardo. I am the widow of Officer Mark Anthony DiNardo, who was a Jersey City police officer shot and killed in the line of duty on July 21st, 2009. It will be 14 years ago this coming Friday that I lost the love of my life and the father of our children. Gwendolyn, who was four, his namesake Mark Anthony Donardo II, was three, and Ella was only one years old at the time. Mark was shot a few days before their birthdays, and he could succumb to his injuries a day before his 38th birthday. What was once a happy month filled with celebrations of life, in an instant became a month that we would dread. It was so hard to be happy in a month filled with sadness for me and our children. My husband's death brought two amazing women into my life, Madeline Newman of Garden State Cops and Donna LaMonico of the Survivors of the Triangle. Both these women, who were strangers, helped me learn to navigate my life as a widow. They introduced me to concerns of police survivors, an organization made up of families and coworkers who had lost an officer in the line of duty. These women, along with the survivors of both New Jersey chapters of Concerns of Police Survivors, helped us rebuild our shattered lives. They helped me find the strength within myself to persevere in spite of this tragedy and gave me the courage to be the best mother I could possibly be to our three children. 
They gave me hope when my world appeared hopeless. Madeline and Donna put me on a path to healing, and it is because of them that I am strong and able to give back to this organization. I am able to help others learn how to survive, how to pick up the pieces of their broken lives, and fi find the power within to move forward. This is the 16th annual Law Enforcement Survivors Day, now in memory of Monsignor Lowry. The Monsignor, along with the generosity of the Storino family, is what brings us together today. This allows all of us, adults and children, with similar tragedies, find comfort and support with one another. We will always carry the pain of losing our officer, but when we are gathered together, we all make each other a little better, both mentally and emotionally. We will cry together and laugh together. We will speak of our officers fondly and understand that we will have good days and bad days, great days and worse days. We will realize just by being in each other's presence that is okay for us to not be okay every single day. This is what makes us survivors. We are grateful year after year because of the kindness of the Storino family extends to us. They give us a reason to smile through the tears by allowing us to spend the day here at Breakwater Beach and Casino Pier. My children with Mark are now 18, 17, and 15 years old. For years, the Storino family brought happiness back in our July. We look forward to this day, not only to have fun in the water and to enjoy the rides, but because we are seeing friends we have made over the years who have become family. And some years, we make new friends that will also become our family. If there are new survivors that are attending this year, whether your loss is recent or happened some time ago and this is your first event, Please know we are here to lift you up and show you the light at the end of the tunnel. Concerns of Police Survivors is a great organization that nobody wants to join. And I hope that an event like this puts you on your road to hope. On behalf of both New Jersey chapters of, of, of I'm sorry, of Concerns of Police Survivors, Garden State Cops, and the Survivors of the Triangle, I would like to thank all the dignitaries that came out today, the various law enforcement agencies that are here, Mike Parmenter for reaching out to all the survivors to get us here, Monsignor Lowry, who I know is smiling down on us and hopefully put in a good word up there for some great weather today, and most importantly, the Storino family, along with their staff. Without you, this day would not be possible. We are truly grateful. Thank you for honoring our heroes and providing this fun-filled day for the families that are left behind. All right, we have a, a small presentation for the Serena family. Why don't you stay in front of the podium? Okay, there we go. This is uh, Vincent Jr. His dad's not feeling well, couldn't be here today. Um, they've been awesome in everything that we do. I want to recognize Cheryl, who's helping us out back there. Cheryl and, and Lou Cerigliano, if you're here, thank you for your help over the uh, first 15 years we've done this. Um, with that, I'd really like to say, go out and have a great time. Try to meet each other. If you're a new person, find somebody. I see a new family back here that we have to meet Mary with black shirts uh, from Louisiana that, that we need to get to know. Um, so go out and have a great time. If you have questions, come see me. Um, food will be served shortly. Thank you for everything. Thank you everybody for coming.